serving you the hottest and freshest news for the information that blasts the nation. This is Lizzy RB, The Voice. Hello Philippines and hello world. I'm Aaron Soriano. And I'm Geneva Liave. And this is Lizzy RB, The Voice. These are the headlines. For international news, the mysterious death of Alberto Nisman. For national news, facing his darkest moment as president, Aquino turns 55. For local news, back to Matt this January. And in sports, Aces Strip Road Warriors. Don't change your radio channel, we'll be right back after this short break. Time check, it's... 9 in the morning, this time check was brought to you by Sun, the good choice. And now we're back. The mysterious death of Alberto Nisman. This is, here's Aaron Soriano for the details. A prosecutor in Argentina accuses the president of attempting to cover up a secret deal to shield terrorists. Days later, the prosecutor is found dead and the president alleges a conspiracy. Alberto Nisman is found dead of gunshot wound to the head in his 13th floor luxury apartment in Buenos Aires on January 18. His door is locked down from the inside with a 22 caliber pistol near him but no suicide note. This is Aaron Soriano reporting. Facing his darkest moment as president, Aquino turns 55. Here's Geneva Liave for the details. President Aquino turns 55 last Sunday, facing his darkest moment as president and commander-in-chief two weeks after the bloody clash in Mamasapana town, Maguindanao province, that claimed the lives of 44 police commandos and at least 18 more rebels and 4 civilians. But Aquino will spend his birthday not the least simply with his family. Whether in times, good or bad, the president has always celebrated his birthday simply and with his family. I see no reason why the president would debate, presidential spokesman Edwin Lacerda said. This is Geneva Liave reporting. Thank you, Geneva Liave. And now, for local news, here is Ms. Eliza Domingo. Back to math this January, lots of students participate on math different events. They showcase their talents and ability to join the Rubik's competition, Math Quiz B, Namba, and especially the Battle of the Bands. Students and teachers perform with full confidence in the whole New Year High School bodies. The math department award the winners for their outstanding performance. Thank you, Eliza Domingo. And don't change your radio channel. We'll be right back after this short break. Did you hear the news about the poll in 44? Yes, and we have a bad feelings about what happened. Our wires doesn't deserve it. The government didn't do their best to protect them. You're wrong. No one should be blamed about what happened. The best we can do is to pray for them and for their families to survive in this tragedy. Now, for sports news. Aces Strip Road Warriors. In a match that saw two imports come up with redeeming performances, DJ Covington drained 24 points and led Alaska to a first win in the PBA Commissioner's Cup eliminations with a nail-biting 96-95 decision over Ed Lex yesterday at Phil Oil Flying V in San Juan. Covington, the former VMI cadet in the Big East in the U.S., was far more impressive than in his debut hitting two charities with under 153 left before helping Alaska hold off the Road Warriors to rise to 1-1 overall. Again, I'm Aaron Soriano, reporting. Now, for the recap, for international news, the mysterious death of Alberto Nisman. For national news, praising his darkest moment as president, Aquino turns 55. For local news, back to Matt this January. And in sports, Aces Grip Road Warriors. Again, I'm Aaron Soriano. And I'm Geneva Liave. Thank you for listening. <laughs>